Hi everyone, this is uh, Luke Akua 20394 here and today I'll be doing my Take Me Out with you for the first episode which was for the 6th of October but today's the 7th of October 2012 Please wave thumbs up and please leave a comment down below What did you think of the first episode of the Take Me Out from last night? Thanks Ok, we start with the guests which um, Paddy McGuinness introduces the girls and then first they come out and then they also talk about how the show's going to work and dating people and stuff. Okay, then the first guest, we had a contendent. The first contendent we had a person called Lee. And then, um, I don't remember guys where he's from, but basically um, his um, hobbies is like, he gets up 6 o'clock in the morning, he's a postman, and he and um he likes modelling and basically he reads magazines and basically they talk about that and then and basically a few people switch their light off and stuff and then basically after that um they talk about his star looks his stuff his postman ha how he's been a postman for nine years so yeah so basically the first contestant's from Lee and basically um. All the lights go off, and then, and then basically he has to choose by he has to choose two people, and then Paddy McGuinness says no liking, no lighting, and then basically he finally gets a date called him um, Chloe Marie. Basically, her hobby is about like she brushes her teeth every half an hour, half an hour a day, which Paddy says, and then Paddy says, let the camel see the hump. And then, the second contendant is, we had a guy called Drew from Portobot. And basically, he's a personal trainer, which is like, works in the gym and does weights and stuff, heavy weights and stuff. And then basically, he, he likes a motorbike, and he has a motorbike, and also he has three cats, which he actually calls it his gang. And then basically he said he wants a girl that who has sense of humour and stuff. And then after that, all the lights go out and Drew doesn't get a date. Percy, what did I think about that? I think Drew did deserve to get a date on that because... Actually, no, sorry, I don't think Drew didn't deserve to get a cat because really... A date, sorry, because really you don't want to see someone talking about three cats. You don't really want people to see, oh, you want to show people your cats and stuff and people showing your motorbike and stuff. I know he, he was talking about, oh, he wants a girl who has sense of humour and stuff. But basically, why talk about that? But anyway, that was my thoughts on that. And then uh, the next con contendant, before we had our third contendant, Paddy McGuinness said, let the fruit see the cake. Singles man, reveal yourself! And then the third contendant, was his name um, Neil, and then he's from Lewington Spa. And Neil is basically into rugby. He has two twin sisters. And Neil basically dances with, dances with Paddy and does the salsa. And then Neil gets a date called Lily. And her hobby's like, she likes Disney movies too. And so does he. And he likes Aladdin. And also he likes movies and stuff. So the way... He likes about her, and that's it. So basically, he did actually fancy Lily, to be honest. So, so yes, yeah, so and Neil got a date. So yeah, next we had a fourth contendent. Next called Jane from London, and Paddy McGuinness says, "Let the jingle see the jaggle." Singles man, reveal yourself. And then we had Jane from London, and basically his hobbies is like, he cuts his hair, he cuts people's hair. He washes his hair, and he said he wants a girl that has skin and colour. And uh, basically, he doesn't get a date. So my overall on that, really, I don't think he didn't deserve to get a date, because people don't want to talk about, or people don't want to hear about how oh, he cuts his hair off, he washes his hair. People don't want to know about that. Really, his type of girl was, is like getting a, a girl which has skin of colour, that his kind of type of skin... And basically, his kind of type of hair. So basically, why him 
didn't deserve to get a girlfriend because I'm glad he didn't get one anyway because to be honest I do feel sorry for James but overall he did fancy one of the contendants but overall he couldn't get a girlfriend so yeah so basically um, that ends the show for um, Take Me Out this week there's nothing much to say in my opinion leave your comments down below if you think that I had much to say about this and also leave your comments about um, what did you think of the first episode of Take Me Out of 2012? Did you like it or did you not like it? So, yeah. So this is um, Luca Q 20394 here for my Take Me Out review for the 7th of October 2012. Please wave thumbs up and please leave a comment down below and please subscribe in the subscribe button. So, yeah. It's Luke Akira 20394 here. For the next time, people, bye for now.